Hello everyone, I'm Sifu Lawrence Hill. Welcome to Systems Within Systems. You can uh, see more of the sites and, and whatnot by going to systemswithinsystems.com and that will connect you to all the other sites, Facebook, uh, Instagram, and uh, YouTube. So, uh, we've been talking about how to deal with stress and how to understand and listen to the breath and on different levels, uh, philosophically, soulfully, uh, materially. Uh, which are all on the other videos. So this is kind of a long series. This one here is going to be a little bit advanced breathing that I teach to my students with the Tai Chi and uh, also with the Systems Within Systems uh, Combat. Uh, and as I said, there's a more advanced one that I'm teaching to uh, the instructors who are, are uh, training to become Sifus. Sifu just means teacher, advanced teacher. Okay, so this type of breathing, I'm gonna be stepping back a little bit to give you an idea. The idea is to understand that your breath as you're breathing in and as you're breathing out, right, is gonna circulate. On this particular one, I breathe in through the nose and out through the nose. These breaths can be very long coming in and very long going out, like, like incredibly long. And um, as you get better at it, and as you get calmer, more relaxed with it. But at first, your timing's gonna be off. It's gonna be difficult. And it's a new way of thinking about your breath. So this you can get dizzy with as well. Uh, so you wanna be a little bit careful when you first start training it with it. And also the confusion of the timing of your breath in and out. The difference on the first part of this, you wanna visualize your breath as doing a circle, right? as doing a circle, coming up your back, going around your head, and coming back out below your belly button, the top the end, all right? So basically, your nostrils, you're gonna imagine, your nostrils are below your belly button, about four fingers below your belly button. That's where you're gonna breathe in, and then as you reach this point, you start to breathe out, okay? It's very tricky. Now we all know our lungs are more in our backs, we've talked about, and your lungs don't go all the way down here, but you want to feel that they travel the whole length of the body, okay? And that you're gonna be breathing in here. It's very cool, all right? Now eventually your breath starts to change. Like when we talk about breathing for like a stress, like, all right, we're actually working with the lungs or the exercise that uh, the doctor just came out with that we, taught that I taught you a little bit more about is expanding the lungs this is much different and as you get more advanced this breathing starts to change as well and it allows you to really calm your breath down to really get the most out of your lungs to really have an inhale for a very long time it, it takes me uh, to do one cycle one breathing cycle about a minute of breathing in and out maybe longer maybe sometimes two minutes of breathing in and out for it to all get done with just one cycle of that breath, okay, as you get better at it. It's very good to practice before your Tai Chi, after your Tai Chi, and whatnot, you know, along with all the other breathing techniques that you're learning and that are out there as well, okay? Eventually, you can't walk without breathing that way. The other part that's different about it is when you're breathing in, right, you see when I'm breathing in, I'm expanding the chest, right? Because I'm breathing in, I'm expanding because I'm breathing in. This does not do that. When I breathe in, nothing moves. This is straight. The only thing that moves is four fingers below your belly button, the tantiem area, right? Four fingers below the belly button. It caves in and comes out like you're folding, right? All right, this is what's tricky. It takes a little practice. Not much, you know, just, just get used to it, right? And caves in and out, caves in and out, just below the belly button. One way to kind of uh, get the area sensitive is just take your hands and hit very lightly below that area that you want to concentrate on your breath. And then you can rotate the hands and do it the other way, okay? The different ways of standing is standing here. You could do it sitting, but I would suggest standing at first, right? Because to help this bend, you can bend your legs, and I don't know if you can catch this in here or not. You can bend your legs very slightly, 
to help you fold that area of your body. Eventually, you won't need to do that at all, okay? You won't even need to do this. Obviously, with probably in a week or so, you'll be way beyond that and you'll be able to have more control of the muscle in that area. So you want to imagine that your nostrils are here and that you're breathing in here. The way you time it is you can't rush it. At first, it's going to feel funny. You've got to get up to here, you're going to be halfway up, and you've got to find that you're instinctively going to want to breathe out. And then you're going to try to rush it and get there. So you need to find your own timing until you get better at it. So you could just breathe normally like this. And there's a little pause. A little pause when you breathe out. And that's where you start to breathe out. The timing of that is imagining an energy, energy uh, like a light moving up, the energy of your body moving up, coming up your back, around your head, a little teeny pause as you breathe out and come down, and then you're breathing out through here, and you're breathing in through here. So the energy line has to come all the way up your back, around, and back down. This type of breathing, I think, is what saved my life and made my heart so strong, along with the training and stuff that I was doing, <clears throat> okay? So very simply, if you come out, you stand regular, comfortably, right? Your feet are just comfortable on the ground, any way you want, and you just tap here until you feel ready. What I do to aid this is I like to keep the hands here, the yin and yang connection, and I have it against the area that I'm breathing in. Imagine my nostrils a little bit over the hand, and then I bend a little bit, right? I bend down just a tad to fold that section, right? And then I breathe out and I stand back up as I'm breathing out. I breathe in, I breathe out, and I stand back up to aid that. Eventually, you will not need to do that. It may take a week, a month, however long it takes you to, to uh, feel comfortable with that type of breath. It is very powerful, right? Very healthy, okay? And as I said, improper breathing can be destructive. Just like improper training or improper Tai Chi, you think you're doing Tai Chi to heal and do this stuff, but actually you're doing damage because you're not paying attention to your bone structure, your muscles. Every time you move with the Tai Chi, internally you're expanding and contraction. So there's a... And your, your organs, as you move, are constantly, you know, contracting and expanding throughout the Tai Chi, which allows the blood and to move through the vessels, through the heart, which is what probably the Tai Chi is, I think, what really saved me and made my heart so strong, all right, to not even know that those things were going on with me. All right, so, again, if you're standing here, I'm going to go through this motion, right? Now, I'm just going to go from here, and I'm going to breathe in. I'm going to imagine the line coming up my back, and then as it reaches here, it's going to come down here on my out motion of the breath, and then come out through my nostrils, and then I do it again. <clears throat> for, the, for the sake of the video, I'll bend down, though in, when I'm doing this in practice, I'm just straightening up. There's actually a way of practicing it when you're walking, when you're driving your car, and just the switching, by the way, when you're driving or when you're walking, allows oxygen into your blood and into your brain. Uh, it just makes you stronger and more aware of what's going on around you. So you're just more consciously aware. If I feel a threat or something, or if I'm in an area where uh, there's a lot of people and congestion, I immediately pay attention to my breath. My walk is different here, and I'm just more aware of what's going on around me. I'm ready for action, okay? So the breath has a lot to do with um, letting oxygen to the brain Putting, pushing oxygen through the blood, building up your T cells, your immune system, all of this, including uh, what the doctor was saying, helps build up your immune system, helps you fight. It gives you, uh, you know, it allows you to be mentally aware of taking some responsibility uh, for what your body's doing. The breath is fantastic. All right, so all of that being said, from here, I stand, tighten, right, this area, right, feel here, four fingers below the belly button, right, and then I'm going to cave it in, right, I'm caving it in, right, breathing in, right, and then I breathe out, all right, so 
the exercise, right? As I'm breathing in, ready? It's very quiet, but you should still hear your breath coming in and out, right? Get yourself ready. If you did all that, then breathe in. Now you'll find, as you do that, as you get more comfortable with it, the way to time it is you have to see it in your mind, the light moving up your back, the energy moving up your back, that's your breath, right? Moving down your front and back out. Those breaths can get very, very long. <clears throat> like I said, they could take you a minute to do one cycle of it, all right? Here we're just doing it you know, because it's kind of boring to watch, right? So, you know, you're just going to keep that going. As you get better with it, it will take, and you'll be able to get your breath back quicker. You'll be able to calm quicker, especially in uh, a violent situation or a, a situation dealing with the virus and whatnot. So this is an excellent prelude to the breathing that this doctor was talking about to help you understand the breath a little bit more, as well as, listening to your breath you know I'm going in for an interview I got to go in and get a, a blood test I got to go you know when I had to get that ink test boy there was doing some really deep breaths there right okay let's go right especially when I was laying on that table they put this big lead blanket on me you know and I had, felt like you know like all this pressure and I'm saying you know I'm volunteering for this stuff I'm looking and I'm talking to the doctors and uh, the nurses there that were in the room anyway, the, the technicians about sake. They're asking me questions about the different grades of sake. And I'm talking to them, and uh, I'm thinking to myself, you know, I could just get up and just leave, you know. There's nobody holding me here. And, oh, okay, wait a minute, okay. <sighs> okay, be in the moment. And this will all bring you into that. So, again, just here, just breathe in. And when you breathe in, you could sit a little bit. Right? Right? And when you're sitting, you don't keep going down. You know, so you just like disappear. Right? It's just very, it's just very, very slight. It's just like, okay? <clears throat> and that's just all, you're moving very, very little. Right? It's not a bend forward or anything. It's important, again, make sure through all of these ex exercises, any exercise that you're doing with the Tai Chi, the uh, martial arts, uh, any breathing, that your heart is straight, okay? That your heart is never bent over, okay? That you're keeping it straight as uh, mindfully as possible, okay? Again, just breathing in. It's so relaxing, okay? There's another series of it where you'll be sitting down. When you sit down, uh, I'll have to do that with somebody here and uh, <clears throat> just touch on that very, very quickly. Uh, but you want to sit down probably on the stairs. Your legs are just flat on the ground, and uh, you're leaning, your, your butt is almost hanging off the stairs. So everything is like very tight and closed. And you could do that breathing as well. Hey, I know this is going to help you guys. I know this is going to help everybody out there. If you contracted the disease, I wouldn't suggest doing this type of breathing. I would do the breathing that the doctor recommends and also filling up, you know, get out, get some air. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, I think you're going to be okay. All right. Again, as I said, it builds up the immune system, the T cells, allows oxygen, expands the lungs. If you haven't contracted any disease or anything of this nature, I would suggest starting to practice breathing. Become more mindful of your breath, your lungs, and expand. Do this exercise. It's great. And eventually, it just incorporates right in with the Tai Chi and your everyday movement. Hey, thank you very much. Everybody, be healthy, be safe, be well. Grow, learn, teach, breathe.